here. <laughs> it's about 1,000 degrees on the beach, even with this beautiful breeze. No one cares how hot it is because we live in bathing suits and we're by the water. There's not much else that's better than this. Am I wrong? You know what else is fantastic about being at the beach? Cooking. I feel like Alex takes on most of the work because he grills. Well, really, I feel like, do I take on most of the work because I prep all the food? That's pretty accurate. I still do plenty of work. But I feel like it tastes extra delicious because everything just tastes better on the grill. Anyway, did I tell you, I'm going to be sharing with you the meals that we eat at the beach and maybe a little more included. And also at the end of this, I'll share some family beach moments with you. And uh, we are at a private access beach, so it is very easy to social distance here if you're worried about that. But I hope you enjoy seeing all the food that I'm sharing with you today. Dinner, oh, gosh, food is just delicious. Am I wrong? I'm gonna go enjoy the water, you enjoy the food. I'm not even sure you can tell. That is Alex, Meredith, and Wentworth playing in the sand back there. I meant to get them in the back of the shot, but then, yeah, I just got crazy and went this way. Okay, bye. Oh, wow, what did we build over here? Oh, Mermaid Tails, oh, I have to go get my camera. Oh, little Meredith and her mermaid tail, I'm dying. So the dinner we're putting together tonight, I'm going to start with a marinade. We've already been down to the beach. I'm currently dripping in my bathing suit. So this marinade's super simple. I may have shared it with you before, but this time I'm using pork. Uh, this is the bag that I froze it in, so it just thawed out in here, and I'm gonna throw the marinade in there as well. How many pieces of pork do I have in there? I don't know, a lot. Let me try to count. One, two, three, four, five, at least six, maybe seven. There might be eight in there. You know, we're just over here feeding a crowd. Party of six, so we're going to kick this party off with the best ingredient of all, give it a little shake. All right, I opened the curtains. Maybe it's a little more sunlight for you. Best ingredient is Olive Garden Italian dressing. If, guy, I know this stuff is expensive in a normal store. I get it from Costco for like pennies in comparison. Uh, but I've only made this marinade with this dressing and it is, I'm not kidding, the most amazing thing I've ever done. I was never huge on marinades before. Oh, this sold me because it is that good. First of all, it's so simple to throw together. Second of all, anything on the grill I have found tastes absolutely amazing. Even a hot dog. Give me a little char on a hot dog, I'm a happy camper. Okay, eight ounces. Well, I don't know how much eight ounces is, but that looks pretty good. Just enough, okay, just enough. Maybe you wanna do a cup. Maybe you wanna do more. For reference, I used about the label on this bottle, okay? Maybe a little more, hey, why not? We're on vacation. Next up, oops, honey! I wrote down the recipe. I don't know where I put it, and I'm certainly not going to waste my time on vacation looking for it. I think you need half a cup of honey, maybe a quarter cup. Well, that looks about good right there, why not? For reference, I used, I don't know, probably close to half a cup. Guys, I, if you haven't met me, hi, my name's Kim. I use recipes as a guideline because it is not that serious. Oh man, I forgot to roll this lime out. Oh my heavens! The smell of this, oh, can I just rub it on my skin right now? Mmm, man, this smells so good. I'm, you know, if you're not cooking with fresh citrus, you are really missing out, my friend. Okay, so we're just gonna squeeze, I think it's a quarter cup of lime juice. So then that makes me think a half a cup of honey. So we're pretty spot on on this recipe as far as exact measurements go. A quarter cup of lime. Let's just throw the lime in there too, why not? Did I wash these? I think so, let's just say yes. Wentworth needed a little snack so we ran back up to the room while everyone else is down by the beach snorkeling and having a grand old time there. Okay, I'm just rolling these limes to really get the juices flowing and a lot of you suggested, and I should know this because Rachel Ray is my mentor. You see Meredith down here? She's cooking with us. She's really what she's doing is cleaning up my mess on the floor. <laughs> She finds every little piece of everything. That's what crawling babies do. Where was I, what was I saying? Oh, oh, okay, Rachel Ray taught me, and you guys reminded me, if your lemons or limes or citrus, whatever, are pretty firm, rolling them will help juice them, of course, but also if you throw them in the microwave for 
I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And then what I like to do, because I've got some cuts on my hand and it's burning. Ooh, someone's calling me. I'm on vacation. So I'm using a fork to just kind of get things moving along, just like so. It's, you know, no skill involved at all, guys. Man, two limes seems plentiful. We're getting a lot of juice out of these suckers. Should we go big and do three? Well, I'm gonna say yes, because what am I gonna do with one leftover lime? You know what I'm gonna do with it? We were unpacking yesterday and I saw Meredith, and plus I already rolled it out. I saw Meredith playing with a what I thought was a ball. It turned out to be a lime. I was like, wait, I didn't pack any toys for her. Hashtag mom of the year award. <laughs> but you know what? The lime worked. Kept her occupied. Oh my, guys, this lime juice is just amazing. Once this is done, I'm just going to zip it up in the bag, throw it in the fridge, and let things marinade. And then, oh, look at this beautiful deliciousness. This could even be a freezer meal. Hey, why not? Should we add some more honey? Let's just do that. Just why not? You know, we're, we're just cooking over here. Oh man, I'm a mess. And then just give this bag, first of all, look how beautiful this looks with the limes just poking out there. Gosh, I should be on Pinterest with this. Instagram worthy, I tell you right here. Okay, so we just give the meat a little massage. Just give it a little zhuzh. Get things started in here. Get it started. What's that song by Black Eyed Peas? Let's get it started. Yeah. Get this party started right now. That looks really nice, beautiful, juicy, delicious. Any more adjectives, Meredith? Cool. Let that sit in the fridge. Give it a judge every time you open it. All right, we're going back to the beach. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Do a little dance. Ba -na -da -na, ba -na -da -na. <laughs> All right, wait for me, hold on. It's almost dinner time. Our tummies are rumbling. And I brought corn for our vegetable today. Nice and simple, easy. Well, I hope it's gonna be easy. Four ears I'm keeping in the husk. We're gonna throw it on the grill like that. And I looked up Google, cause I like, you know, char grill marks on my vegetables. So I husked four of them. We're gonna do half this way. And apparently if you, um, cook corn on the grill. You're supposed to let it soak in cold water for 30 minutes. So says Google. I don't that's what we're doing So I'm not a grill master, but I'll let you know which way is better this way or in the husk I know people have a lot of opinions on how to cook corn. You can do this in the microwave I've done that plenty of times in the husk. I actually don't even remember how long to cook it probably like four minutes It's pretty quick and then it slides right out, it's pretty cool. I also know a lot of people put a lot of different seasonings on them, but we're limited on that. I've got my salt and pepper with me over here. That's what I brought, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna use. And then I did bring a stick of butter up here. And here's our marinade. It's been in the fridge for quite some time, and I've been judging it every time I come up to the room. Oh, and I'm cooking rice on the stove because carbs. Oh my gosh, and, 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 and I have some potatoes that I cooked last night. I didn't share that dinner with you. It was like simple hot dogs and hamburgers, but I did grill a bunch of potatoes and then, or grill, I did on the skillet, a ton of zucchini and then potatoes. So why was I showing you potatoes? I don't know, maybe I'll eat those for carbs. I don't know why I showed you that. Just don't even pay attention to me, okay? That's what I was gonna say. I almost completely forgot. But I have learned uh, from Bobby over at Flav City that when you cook your meat, I took this out of the fridge already, even though we won't be grilling for, uh, you know, until the rice is done. Ooh, look, it's boiling over. So you're supposed to let the meat come to room temperature. That way it cooks nice and evenly. There's a tip. This is what you probably want to see. Paradise. I got two tickets to paradise. Actually, we've got six. Party of six over here. You see those waves crashing? Usually it doesn't happen on the Gulf Coast, but we're excited about it. We got the grill master over here. Look out. I think the corn stays on for 20 minutes. That's what Google said. The meat, I don't know, probably the same time. That was like a happy grill or what? Also, it's starting to thunder, so I'm hoping it stays away for about 20 minutes. Grillmaster, how'd it turn out? Oh my gosh, those look so good. 
so impressed, Alex. Wow. I think that's done, don't you? I like the char, so. Oh, heaven to Betsy. What does that even mean? I don't even know. It smells delicious, looks delicious. Can't wait to dive in. Like, are you kidding me right now? With those charred grill marks. Oh, and here's the real test, Alex. We have to tell them which corn is the best. Mm -hmm. Hey, how'd you get those muscles? Okay, the verdict on the corn is in. Some people preferred grill, but I'm here to tell you the one cooked in the husk is juicier and has more of like a corn flavor. But surprisingly, we got an ear of white corn and that seems to be the favorite. And this was cooked in the husk. There's that, and we I didn't even season them. I just put a little bit of butter on it. That's it, nice and natural. making lunch with the leftovers. Here's mine, it's just some romaine lettuce, the corn, just chopped it off the cob. And then for the kids, we have some seaweed and they like to eat the rice, just wrapping it up with the seaweed. Alex, same thing, over here, looks good. Bon appetit. On the menu for this evening, we're getting real fancy with kebabs. I don't know if I found all my skewers. I actually have no idea where I found these skewers. You know what, I'm gonna start chopping and then we'll talk about it. We've got some sausage here, chicken apple sausage. It is my absolute favorite. It is like a sweeter sausage, so if you're not into that, like look elsewhere. But I don't know how else to explain these sausages other than it tastes like Thanksgiving. That's all I have to say about it. I've got a zucchini, a pineapple, some peppers. I have these left over, they didn't get eaten last night, so I'm just gonna throw them on, why not? And then an onion. I have this, oh, a zucchini, did I say that? And then I have this random ear of corn. So, I don't know, maybe that's a snack. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm singing the radioactive song, but I'm getting all crazy with it, and I hear people like walking by my door, and I'm just embarrassed for myself. Okay, <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. I am weird, in case you had no idea. Ooh, mm, this pineapple smells so good. So, about skewers, I'm prepping this meal. All the, everyone went down to the beach just now and I thought, uh, cause we just came up and had lunch and I thought, well, before I go down, I might as well just prep the dinner so it's nice and ready for us. And I just skin the sides of the pineapple. I peel all the skin off. This is like the easiest way to peel a pineapple. I had some, I always have people say, I had no idea that's how you cut a pineapple. I don't know if this is the official way to do it, but it's the official way that I do it. On to kebabs. It is such a simple dessert. No skill involved at all. Again, that's how we do things around here. Plus, it is so stinking versatile because you can literally throw anything on a kebab and it is delicious. I do have a few kebab meals, not meals, marinades. Who? Um, uh, so I'll try to link those like recipe videos down below. Oh, these have gotta be a little thick, right? Because we're throwing them on kebabs. I think it'll probably just do half a pineapple on there and then the rest we can eat as a treat. This is my kind of dessert right here. Mm. You know what I taste in my mouth right now? Sunscreen, <laughs> all those chemicals. So we've got pineapple, Pineapple and zucchini go together? Doesn't matter, that's what I brought, so we're doing it. Another thing I love about kebabs is that they're just so, well, colorful, depending on what you throw on them. I like a lot of veggies. You can also make kebabs that are strictly meat. You do what you want, you know? I have to remind myself when I'm cutting stuff for kebabs, keep it pretty thick. Don't ask me how long we grill the kebabs for because I don't have an answer for you, okay? I am not the grill master. If I had to guess though, it would probably be, you know, grill them until they're done. Also a tidbit about peppers if you weren't aware. So all the peppers, they either have three feet, do you see the bottom of this one? 
or watch this one has three as well oh no we got lucky here i didn't even plan this out this one has four feet do you see apparently the ones with four feet are sweeter if you're interested in knowing that mm, so good i gotta compare you know mm, all right we're eating the rainbow over here we've got red yellow oh i should have brought my orange pepper but i didn't I told Alex, oh, it'll take me 10 minutes to just cut these up and I'll meet you down. He told me not to rush, and you know what? I'm not going to, because these days, I don't get much alone time, so I am soaking it up. The star of the show over here, we are definitely running out of cutting board space. Half of the food, more than half, is just on the counter. But that's okay, you know, we washed. Did we though? It doesn't matter. The meat too, I think is helpful to know. It's already pre-cooked, so really you're just getting a nice little char on it and you're heating it through and that's all you need. Keep things easy on yourself. We just played Gestures and I, gosh, I have not played that game since I was a little girl and that was just so much fun. Okay, no rhyme or reason for filling these things up, right? The kebabs, you just shove a little, well, you know, you mix things up. It's no big deal. You can't really mess up a kebab, can you? I mean, if anyone is gonna mess it up, it's gonna be me. How should we do this? Ah! Poked myself in the pan. Oh my gosh, this is looking good, if I do say so myself. How about one more meat? I guess we should make some kind of pattern here. Well, too bad. We're not gonna do that. Okay, one thing I will say about the skewers is... If you don't have these metal skewers, I have no idea where I got these. I couldn't tell you if I tried and tried, but if I had to guess, the answer would be Target. Um, but if you don't have these metal ones, you can use wooden ones. For warning, if you choose to use wooden ones, you need to soak them for, I don't know, around 20, 30 minutes before you use them. That way they don't burn up on the grill, you know? All right, I'm just going to throw whatever I feel like on these skewers and call it a day. So you guys can watch me be indecisive here for a while. The zook is my favorite part. Oh, you know what? I guess I could have done like an assembly line because that's kind of how I'm doing it now. Ugh, gosh, I really taste that sunscreen in my mouth. It doesn't help that I put it like all over my lips. <laughs> I'm like, mm, it's chapstick too. All right, I like this assembly line kind of style. Hold on, I'm wasting too much space that way. There we go, there we go. All we had to do was get things started. Let's get it started. All right, I lost the assembly line. You're, <laughs> you're distracting me. I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye, but I can help my feelings. Right now, I can't deny you never left my mind And now my heart is bleeding Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I do I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you, you are Here it is. I really feel like I was getting the hang of it at the end there, okay? I wish I had double the amount of skewers, but well, I don't, so here's what we're working with. Doesn't that just look beautiful and colorful? You just wanna devour it in a moment's notice. That's how I feel anyway, okay? So, we're gonna throw this on the grill and we're gonna eat it. <laughs> Hello ladies, Kim told me to go ahead and film some of this kebab. She said it on the way out. Just so you know, these are kebabs. Yeah. So here you go. And uh, I forgot to spray down, so now all the aluminum is sticking, as you can see. But that's pretty much what we got going on. The grill master. Oh my gosh, are those some good looking kebabs or what? Wow, Alex, you did a great job with these kebabs over here. Mm, I put them together. It's like no big deal. Uh, look at these charn marks. The grill master and his sous chef. Can you be a sous chef on a grill? 
I mean, if anyone could, it's definitely Meredith. Would it be wise to hand her this? Oh yeah, that's definitely smart. <laughs> oh, thumbnail. <laughs> the amount of times that I've said kebab in this video is outrageous. Anyway, the kebabs turned out fantastic. Juicy, delicious, pineapple was a hit. Grilled pineapple, amazing. Gonna do it all over again. We're home now and my original plan was to make these bacon, chicken, ranch, foil packets. I don't remember the names, but since I, I thought, oh, that would be a good idea for on the grill. Since we're home, I'm just gonna make it in the oven and then I'm reading over the instructions and the potatoes don't really look good in the picture and the foil packets, so you guys know me. I'm just doing my own thing, kind of taking the same recipe, just doing it my way. So we have potatoes and bacon. It calls for bacon crumbles, but since I'm not doing it in the packets, I'm just gonna cook it. And then the star of the show, the ranch seasoning, and then a whole stick of butter. And I have two packages of chicken thighs. Can't go wrong with chicken thighs, they're the best. All right, we have one stick of melted butter, and to that you're supposed to add one packet of ranch seasoning, which is the equivalent to like three tablespoons, so, you know, we just eyeball that. Oh, one, two, three, and give that a good mix. Set this aside. And we're gonna cut up the potatoes. And when I was looking at the foil uh, recipe, I realized it was a Pinterest recipe, I'll link it below, but I realized uh, the link sent me to like 25 foil recipes and which is pretty cool I didn't know that you could make literally anything in foil. They had a whole lot. They had like shrimp and corn and Well, that's pretty much the only other one I remember but oh oh sausage and peppers fish and peppers my dad used to make that one a lot um, anyway I decided against it because I like my potatoes crispy and so do my kids, so I thought this would be a better option. You're supposed to cut all of the potatoes and I like to put them like seam side down, like cut side down like so, and that way they get extra crispy on the bottoms, but that's after you oil it and season it and stuff. But for this particular recipe, we're going to take the potatoes and rub them in that butter and ranch seasoning mix. So I'm gonna finish cutting the potatoes. I, it said a pound, I think, the recipe, or one bag. I don't know, I just plopped some on my cutting board and that's that. Oh, also the vegetable for this recipe, my kids requested broccoli and I just have frozen broccoli, so I'm just gonna pop that in the microwave. Otherwise, I would throw veggies on here and roast them as well because that's my favorite way to eat veggies. I mean, technically you can put the frozen broccoli on there, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, is that enough potatoes? Looks good enough to me. Oh, you know what we're gonna add to the potatoes? I almost forgot because this is a chicken and bacon dish after all, so I'm just going to cut up some of this bacon. I'm gonna get my scissors again. It's just so much easier to cut bacon if it's either frozen or if you do it with scissors. You don't even really need to add an oil or butter to the potatoes if you do it this way because the grease from the bacon just, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Everything is better with bacon. I don't know how much we're gonna add, like a quarter pound, I guess. I'm going to take my chicken and dip it in this mixture, which is already like solidifying. What is happening? I don't think this is gonna be enough to cover the amount of chicken I have. It says four chicken breasts on the recipe, but we just, we need more. So we're doing more. Oh my God, I might melt another stick of butter, which seems absolutely ridiculous, but also kind of necessary. All right, we'll see how far this gets us. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I can't even, and it's so simple. Like what, butter and ranch seasoning? Can't get any easier than that. I mean, healthy, questionable, but delicious? I sure hope so. And then add bacon to the, on top of this? Like, are you kidding me? I already know this recipe is going to be a smash hit because I just got done with the chicken and that was a stick of butter, my friends. When you peek on that, I mean, raw chicken doesn't look that delicious, but um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of oil on this, not much because the bacon is going to render enough fat, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle some ranch dressing over top since our butter has deplenished, deplenished, depleted, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, just keep it simple. Okay, so here's a little bit of oil, not much, and then just some 
ranch dressing. Who knew this stuff was so versatile? I mean, is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. So just give it a good zhuzh. Do I need to add pepper? Definitely not salt, I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Someday, this could be, this could be ordinary. All right, oh my. It's a lot of bacon. <laughs> This is a happy pan right there. And I only have a little bit of bacon left over. Where is it? Let me show you. Right there. And I thought, oh, let me just cut that up and put it over the chicken. And then I came to my senses and realized this recipe is artery clogging enough. So I'm gonna throw this into the oven, 425 for until it's done, probably around 30 minutes. We're gonna keep checking on it. First, we have to get all of the butter out of this. Don't even know what I was thinking. Also, do you, ooh, look at that. It's like solidifying. Oh, magic right there. Also, do you notice this enormous watermelon in the back there? It's like the elephant in the room we're not talking about. And dinner is served. Look how much butter is down there. And then you have the chicken thigh, like the grease from the chicken thighs, because they're so juicy and they let out a lot of juices. And then over here, the potatoes cooked to perfection. Which one should we pick up? Ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's not even crispy. The tops are crispy. Oh, there's a crispy piece. They are literally I'm scalding gonna say hot. Again. I'm going to say crispy as many you times as I want. They, aren't these so crispy? Look how crispy those are. Let me take a bite. Crispy. <laughs> Never enough. All right, anyway, that one is definitely not crispy. <laughs> They, they, I were had done. To. they were literally done. <laughs> they were done after the second time, and then I kept going. It's funny, then it's not funny, then it's funny again. Well, we're waiting for it to get back. And then, where oh, you're still waiting? Chris. Okay, then the bacon, I mean, whatever this is, broccoli. Yeah, okay, so dinner is served. Bon appetit. Mmm, the bacon's crispy too. <laughs> funny again? Yes. <laughs> We're getting ready for dinner. We haven't plated yet, but we had to sneak a bite. Oh, juicy and delicious. I mean, how can it not be? It's literally cooking in a vat of butter. And then, of course, over here, the potatoes. Did you try one, Alex? Yeah, they're good. Were they crispy? <laughs> <laughs> so that is all of the dinners that we made while we're hanging out at the beach. I hope you enjoyed them. Maybe I'll share more with you. Maybe I did share more with you. Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you got some dinner inspiration. If you did, let me know. Ooh, tag me on Instagram if you make any of this amazing food. I am gonna head down back to the beach before we leave. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I will see you next time. Bye. Look who's playing on the beach. Oh, wow, Meredith. Mommy. What are you doing in there? Whoa. Oh, the best part of making sandcastles is absolutely destroying them. Oh my gosh, Godzilla, the Hulk. Both? Oh man. Oh, you ripped the top off. Okay. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Meredith is just living the dream right now. Uh, she also has a lot of sand in her mouth because she keeps eating. Meredith, do you keep eating the sand? <laughs> oh, you're such a babe. Look at you. <laughs> Hi. Don't you learn? It doesn't taste so good. <laughs> She's coming. <laughs> there, you see? What are you doing? Yucky. <laughs> it's yucky. <laughs> Literally trying to eat everything. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. That's yucky. That's yucky. Yucky. <laughs> Ooh, Meredith, you see that bird? Oh, she's after it. <laughs> it's a little too fast for her. What are you off to next? Oh, the next piece of seaweed to eat. She loves to explore. Oh, at Meredith's 
going in the water. Uh-oh. Water's in your face. Oh, Meredith, you're so funny. Oh no, you got a nose full of sand. Here she comes. She is a beach bum, I'll tell you what. Good shot, right on. Come on. Come on, I just happened to get on camera, right on. You guys, uh, I don't know if you can see it, her raft out there is a cat. Oh, she turned it the other way. Show us the cool side. You can kind of see it. Huh? <laughs>